Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm not going to demonstrate the anymore. Today I'm going to have a short discussion about the topic in the anatomy. The topic has not been decided. Before I want to introduce, this is Dr. Sufriya and uh, she has contributed few of the videos in the anatomy. I welcome Dr. Sufriya in my discuss forum, in the discuss forum. Welcome Dr. Sufriya. Yeah, thank you for welcoming Dr. Janathan. Okay, I would like to discuss about any topic in the anatomy and today is our first video. Which topic would you prefer to discuss? Uh, first, I, I want to appreciate you to your uh, YouTube channel and your videos. I saw all your videos. All are quite informative. Thank you. Shall we discuss about uh, nutrient foramen? Yes, that is very fascinating topic because I have not yet discussed about the nutrient foramen anywhere. Let us discuss. Nutrient foramen also we can call a vascular foramen. Well, uh, nutrient foramen can call other name. Yes, uh, there are some other pseudonym which we can call. Uh, nutrient foramen can be called as vascular foramen because it receives the blood vessels. Yeah, I agree with you. A nutrient foramen is a foramen it receives uh, arteries. What are the other special features of the nutrient artery? The nutrient artery is uh, receiving a nutrition from the nutrient artery. All long bones, a nutrient foramen direction is opposite to the growing end. It also indicates the growing end of the long bones. Generally implies the route to the growing end of the long bone typically. What is the peculiarities of the Nutrient foramen in the long bone, for example, in the humerus. Uh, in the humerus, a nutrient foramen uh, locate on the shaft. Also, it locates uh, upper end and lower end of the humerus. Not only the humerus, all long bones it does locate. Nutrient foramen, a very small foramen in the shaft, we can call as a nutrient foramen. The foramen it locates upper end and the lower end we can call as a vascular foramen. So both it supplies the nutrition for the bone. It receives the nutrient artery. But it has the special features of the nutrient foramen in the shaft, which determines the growing end. Uh, growing end of the humerus, but if you see the nutrient foramen in the shaft, it directed towards the okay. elbow joint. So the Growing end will be always opposite to the nutrient foramen direction. So the growing end has to be in the upper end. And not only the humerus. Yes, you can check the nutrient foramen in the shaft of radius ulna, humerus, tibia and fibula and see their direction where it goes and opposite to them will be the growing end. For the reference, you can see the ossification centers of each bone. You can see the ossification of bones to correlate the nutrient foramen, the videos in his channel. This video can be quite uh, useful for the medical learners. If you have the additional information about the nutrient foramen, you can have a comment on a below. See you in the next video. Till then. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.